An unprecedented event for extraordinary times, a social media gathering and television gala hosted by Hollywood star Eva Longoria Baston. There were reminders of the racial tensions that have divided the nation, from the mayor of Washington, D.C., among others. It was here that just weeks ago, Americans donned face masks and safely and peacefully protested the death of George Floyd. There were the usual trappings of a convention, but the audience was remote, and most testimonials were pre-recorded, including one from former First Lady Michelle Obama. I know Joe. He is a profoundly decent man, guided by faith. He was a terrific vice president. He knows what it takes to rescue an economy, beat back a pandemic, and lead our country. Crucial for Democrats who hope to oust the incumbent, support from progressives who rallied in the campaign around Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. We're facing the worst public health crisis in 100 years and the worst economic collapse since the Great Depression. We are confronting systemic racism and the enormous threat to our planet of climate change. And in the midst of all of this, we have a president who is not only incapable of addressing these crises, but is leading us down the path of authoritarianism. Also important, support from moderate Republicans and independent voters. Former Ohio Governor John Kasich is backing Biden. I'm a lifelong Republican, but that attachment holds second place to my responsibility to my country. That's why I've chosen to appear at this convention. Less than three months before the election, the challenge for both parties creating excitement for the candidates during a pandemic. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.